Hey guys, hope everyone is doing well. Today we have a really cool project for you. We're going to be making a cotton ball launcher. So if you play with a slingshot or a Nerf toy before, you might be familiar with what we're about to make, but do you know how it works? Well, today we're going to take a look at the science of energy and how that helps your ball fly in the air. For this project, you're going to need two empty toilet paper rolls, masking tape. If you don't have that, it's okay as long as you have some sort of strong tape. Two rubber bands, a small pencil, and if you don't have that, you can also use popsicle sticks. Plenty of cotton balls, a hole puncher, and scissors. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna take one of the rolls and cut across the middle. It should be able to open like this. Then I'm gonna squeeze the tube so it becomes narrow. And once it becomes narrow enough, about half the size it used to be, I'm gonna tape down the side. Next, we're going to use our hole puncher to make two holes near the edge of the roll. And you want to make sure the holes sit about half an inch away from the edge. The second hole will sit opposite the first one, also half an inch away from the edge. From here, you're going to take your pencil and slide it across both holes. If you're using popsicle sticks, you can use scissors to cut small slits to hold them. Now we're going to take the second tube and cut two small slits on the same end of the tube directly across each other. And then we're going to pull the rubber bands through the two slits we just cut. Next, we're going to slide the narrow tube with the pencil into the wider one. And then you're going to wrap the rubber bands around the pencil. Place your cotton ball on the opposite end and pull to launch. Now let's give it a try. So a few questions to think about while you're testing out your new launcher is what do you notice about how far you pull the rubber band and how far the ball launches when you release it? To test this, first pull 2 inches away and mark how far the cotton ball lands. Then for the second round, pull back 4 inches and mark this distance. You should be able to find that the farther you pull, the farther the ball launches. So how this works is that when you pull back the pencil, you are adding potential energy. The farther you pull back, the more potential energy you are adding to the launch. Then when you release, the potential energy becomes kinetic energy. When you stretch the rubber bands, it stores elastic potential energy.